Hello to everyone. Today I want to share my uh, new AI workflow that you can use to build any kind of effect that you can copy from any site. But it's not just a stupid copy of the code. It's like making your own unique uh, effect uh, and sometimes you can make it even better than on original site and uh, you can make more cleaner code and more interesting results. So the, first of all, you need to simply uh, record the uh, screenshot. It must be video screenshot. And because uh, Gemini can uh, easily uh, detect the videos. Um, and now I put uh, here the system instructions. Uh, this is because uh, Gemini by default use React. But I don't need React, I want to have uh, plain uh, HTML and uh, JS and CSS. So I use special uh, system uh, um, prompt. And I will uh, share this uh, prompt also inside the description of video. So I put my uh, video here and click to build uh, my uh, code. As you see from first attempt, it's uh, starting to make something. It's something very similar, but not the same. It has some uh, problems. Uh, for example, uh, it's uh, automatic uh, animation, but I need it to make on scroll. And uh, also there is some jumping and the uh, animation is not very smooth. And here where we start to have difference, from newbie and from professional user because uh, professional user he knows what we need to fix and he knows the technologies he knows uh, uh, different technical sites and he can describe exactly what we need to fix or what we need to add in this effect in this uh, design so here i just ask, ask to uh, make these animations to be on scroll and I think results it's much better but we need to fix now this uh, text jumping it's because uh, now we have uh, separate words but we need to have also separate lines uh, because when line is uh, has a display block uh, it doesn't jump it's uh, static so on the second attempt i have the next result it's uh, fixing my problem with lines but uh, uh, gemini uh, just changed some designs so i need to revert this so i added another prompt and another fix and uh, i started to sync a bit longer but i think we will have uh, the proper results so let's just wait and now we have next and when i scroll i see that everything is working as i wanted so um, okay the results are great uh, now i also want to unstick this text because i want it to work as uh, as i scroll uh, and i uh, added some additional prompts but it's uh, it's optional uh, it's up to you uh, so we have the code now so, uh, it's just uh, html because uh, gemini sometimes can do uh, react even we if we don't ask this now inside the WordPress, uh, I installed the GreenShift plugin and the Style Manager block. Previously, uh, inside the Style Manager, I need to copy uh, each section separately. But now I can simply put everything uh, inside the HTML and plugin automatically um, put the styles in style section, uh, scripts in script section. And as you see, it's uh, totally working as we expected. So great, but there are also a few uh, new options that I want to explain. But before this, we need to make a small tweak. Uh, our code has a custom CSS and it has uh, styles for body. 
and uh, I simply don't need it and I um, simply remove this section from the custom CSS panel okay that's great and now uh, the first feature which we added when you click on any block that has a style the class that is uh, controlled from the style manager you simply can uh, locate the style and it will be automatically selected in the style manager so you can easily change it and second feature which you should know is that the any class uh, in the style manager you can make it to work only on the front end or only in editor it can be helpful because uh, for example in our situation uh, some blocks are hidden and I maybe I need uh, to hide them only on the front end so I simply can make this uh, style to work only on the front end. Thank you for your time and see you in next video.